we was in addiction for almost 20 years mm -hmm. and I took the medication for hepatitis C and we got into the gym and I truly was walking around feeling like I was blessed to walk out of it mm -hmm. untouchable. Absolutely. I made it out and, and I didn't have none of the long-term effects. Between 37 and 38, the testosterone goes. Whew. Oh yeah. Then I start getting chronic migraines. I started facing <clears throat> these headaches, insomnia, and then my health starts to deteriorate. When you're faced with your own mortality, especially when you've been living like you're never going to die and it finally sets in that you're getting old, depression comes with it. And that's where the food come in. My diet just goes to hell. Then I start having these pains up and down my left side. My mind goes right to I've got a blockage from the dope I used to shoot. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong with my heart. Come to find out... I have diverticulitis. I come home and I start Googling it. And the first thing that pops up is these diseases are very common in the Western world. Pretty much everything that is designed for the consumer-based masses is also poisonous. And I'm not going to say I'm a big conspiracy theorist. I, I, I don't trust the food. I don't trust the water. I don't trust the medicines. So when I read Western-based diseases, a light went on. It's like, well, this... I mean, obviously, it's related to the food and the way we eat in this mm -hmm. country, and I had to look at my diet. But pretty much what I, what I got blessed with, I didn't look at this as a burden, is going back to the way I used to eat when I was 7% body fat. So I looked at it like a blessing, and I just cut out everything and started eating probably healthier than I ever have in my life. Diet is 80% of being in shape. And it's I crazy, knew though. this. It is. Nobody, nobody seems to understand that. Yeah. Like, and, you hear and, about, you hear about people all the time. Like I'm going to the gym. I just, what's your diet look like?